Hey everyone, I am Audrey Alamo and I'm making this video for those of you who uh, may be about to undergo um, any kind of breast surgery. Uh, basically, I had um, 12 days ago a bilateral mastectomy due to uh, stage 2 breast cancer. It's my second diagnosis. Last year I had a lumpectomy. Um, so this one being a little bit more um, major, uh, I wanted to share some tips with you of you know, some great things to have with you afterwards. Um, I had so many people helping me, um, but there are a few things in here that are just like must-haves that I didn't know about and I wanna share with you. So the first one is my um, diffuser. This is absolutely the best thing all around for my post-surgery recovery. And actually, actually not during surgery, but when I was in the recovery room, uh, John brought this and it was going the entire time and we were alternating with different oils, um, but this one was the clencher. Thieves is just um, all around phenomenal germ killer. So when you're in the hospitals, that's one of your major concerns, right? So we had that going and all the nurses were like, what in the world is that? It smells so amazing. It's like a cinnamon clove combination. Um, and so when we got home, I've just had this going around the clock. As you know, there's um, residual anesthesia, there are uh, narcotics that I was taking for pain for about four or five days, uh, the antibiotics, and breathing is definitely labored. You know, when you're covered um, up across your chest, it's hard to breathe and they give you that little toy to practice breathing. But a couple of things that I have going all the time are eucalyptus and peppermint, and that really eased my breathing. Uh, lavender is phenomenal, and cedar wood is great for helping you sleep at night. So this has just been a major uplifter of spirits throughout the whole recovery process. Uh, so another couple of things I wanted to share with you, and these were given to me, and if you don't have someone in your life to give this to, I am going to find a way to get to you. So email me or let me know but one is this heart pillow and so when you're driving home from the surgery this is just great to put across um, your chest to uh, help the seat belt from putting any pressure on your chest so this plus it's made with love so that was unbelievable and I've kind of hugged it the whole time of recovery this is an indispensable piece if you can see it's basically a pocket sewed to a ribbon and when you're out of surgery you're gonna have two drains or you know whatever your surgery is you may have a drain um, I had two and so rather than letting them just sort of dangle by your side you have this pocket to put them in and it holds them in place so it's just a whole lot more comfortable and uh, I used that for about four or five days as well till I got my drains out um, another fantastic little piece that I used was this. Um, it actually holds your phone, so you can imagine your phone sort of sticking in there and it's got a, has a suction cup. So I just suctioned it to a plate and um, you know, you spend a lot of time on your back and so rather than holding up your phone, it just sort of is placed there and you can watch your shows, play your games, whatever you need to do. Um, another thing was, and this is just kind of like my own little thing. I don't know if you have a blankie, but, and I don't really call it that, but for the moment I will. But this, you know, John brought to the recovery room and I used it, um, and even when I was out of it, I could just feel it and it was so comforting. So if you have anything special like that, you know, have your spouse or a good friend bring it for you and uh, it's just a great thing. Let's see. I also brought bought this tray for my bed. So, you know, it was just nice and still is because you're reaching for things all the time. And uh, it's nice to be able to hold up your iPad and your books. And this one I highly recommend. Okay. And last but not least, and this is the best of all things this back scratcher 
I say make sure you get one of these because when you're laying down and it's really hard to move and suppose you have an itch on your shoulder over here, oh, you get to do that. Or if hair is in your face and you want to move that over, you get to do that. Or if the, the iPad is too far away from you, you can scoot things over to you and um, it just makes life so much easier. So this is probably the number one thing. After the diffuser, okay, diffuser, probably number one, and this thing, number two. So um, you may or may not know I have a blog that I logged my journey, and that's at www.thecancerdance.weebly.com. Um, or you can also email me if you have questions at audreyalamo at gmail.com. So God bless you in your journey, and I hope uh, this helped, and I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, you might also want a snuggly kitty over there who you can pet with your cat scratcher. All right. God bless, guys. Bye-bye now.